Welcome to Lab 5, Part E, Temperature, Salinity, and Deep Water Currents. Temperature, Salinity, and Deep Water Currents. In this lab section, you'll explore the relationships between temperature and salinity, the resulting density, and how these variables influence ocean currents. The following global surface map illustrates seawater density is directly related to temperature and salinity, High density seawater tends to be cooler with higher salinity. Lower density seawater tends to be warmer with lower salinity. And as a result, many dense water bodies are formed in high latitudes. As a direct result, high density surface waters spontaneously sink in what's known as downwelling. These sinking waters are then replaced which experience the same changes in temperature and salinity, and in turn also sink. This ongoing production of dense water produces deep ocean thermohaline circulation, driving the global conveyor belt. Upwelling brings these waters back up to the surface through one, fast moving boundary currents like the Gulf Stream, two, vertical mixing, and three, decreases in density due to heat. It's now time to complete your lab assignment for part E, temperature, salinity, and deep water currents. Next, watch video six, part E1, temperature, salinity, and deep water currents. Please address your questions to your lab TA.